there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Kind of Grizzly's War in the East as we continue. So, uh, we have moved into the following turn. Now, this didn't go too well, but the idea here is uh, true. It is almost, well, it's like, with airfields, it's a little bit annoying. It's like, abstract to a certain degree, but basically you can capture, or at least force, airfields to surrender like normal infantry. But by keeping them like this, I hope to try and remove them from play. Though ultimately, I will have to, uh, well, bump into them to obviously clear this up for supply. But either way, we'll do what we can. Uh, so we do have an infantry division over here then, so we need to do some reconnaissance and figure out what's going on exactly. Right, let's, let's move these airfields up. Were you the one with the utilities? Yes, you are. So I'm going to leave you as you are. The rest can move forward, however. Indeed. Try and get some range on our reconnaissance. up these bombers will be quite useful quite useful indeed hmm not sure might as well leave you there These ones are locked, apparently. Or at least they don't have any movement. So I might as well treat them as locked for all intents and purposes. Okay, we have our airfields over here. I'm happy for the fact that I understand how um, transport and fuel now works. And I believe that if we, um, I had a comment about this actually, you can hold, it's either left trigger, well, control, yeah, shift, right click, that's it. Um, so if we shift right click when we're using one of these transports, then basically we can uh, say exactly what needs to go where, which is really, really good, makes things a hell of a lot better. So thank you to Mr. Smivik, 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 for tell me that one. I don't know how you say your name, but I'm going to try and say it like that. Sounds okay, sounds okay to me, so we'll go with that one. Okay, do we have any reinforcements? We do actually, further two divisions and a core, and then another full motorized division. Roitio. Okay, let's concentrate in the south and then we'll move up. Actually, first I'll move, uh, now I'll leave these ones for the time being. Uh, we'll do some reconnaissance in the south and work out the southern situation first. Yeah, we can see the range is much better now. Okay. It looks as though we will not be able to take Smolensk, which is a shame. I do not want to overextend any further. If there had been a gap, there could have been a slight possibility. But even then, the fuel is just far too low. Far, far too low to risk anything uh, too dangerous. Uh, so I'll consolidate the panzers over here. Might have been worth, instead of going for something like this on Smolensk, uh, possibly doing a HQ build-up, but these are the things that we do not know until it already happens and is out of our... Well, out of our control. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we do have some Hungarian forces over here that can be moved. Superb. Uh, who's your commanding officer? Right, so here's your core. Okay. Uh, so we have security here. <clears throat> it's strange that we do have um, Hungarian motorized going through the mountains. And again, I suppose they have to go through here.
truly a terrific point to defend. Okay. Retrieves it. You are attached to this, okay. Uh, see, the mountain would have made much more sense. Uh, we could move you there. You would have 62. You'd only have 5, I think, here. Yeah? Uh, so we'll do that then. Right, we'll unload you. See how their combat strength actually increases in mountains. Okay, no more movement. That's fine. We'll move these airfields up. They will be sorely needed in the time to come. As every air asset will be needed. Okay. Uh, we do have Slovakian High Command. There we go. Okay, so we could go for airfield attack, which I think I will do. Uh, we should be able to deal a hell of a lot of damage here, and then when we disrupt the airfields, we'll be able to destroy even more. Uh, so what we'll do here then is we'll take a look at the number of losses. So air losses is at 4138. So from 4138, we'll see what we can deal. Uh, apparently not much. At least uh, the vast majority of our bombers are out of range. Yes, they are. Okay. Need to move these bombers forward then, really. It seems like the vast majority of the airfields are down here in the south and north. Okie dokie. Uh, but either way, we inflicted phew, only 42 losses. That's pretty pathetic. Then again, most air raids now aren't going to be that effective. Uh, but either way, we could cut off quite a number of troops over here like we already have, so that's decent enough. Uh, so if we take a look at here, so obviously our Panzer Brigade is isolated, but the rest of these forces are isolated and cut off from supply, which is good. Very good for us. Very, very good. Right, we need to uh, finally clear them out. We'll not be able to do it this turn, I doubt. But we can try. Okay, press the button. Okay, they held. <clears throat> okay. Now these mounted troops are really important. I am going to need them. I don't think their bonus really applies so much in planes, but we could use them. I don't know if they actually do gain a bonus for being in, like, difficult terrain. I imagine there the troops really be tossed into difficult terrain. So I imagine it will probably, probably go to other forms. Okay. Are you kidding me? There we go, finally. They had a large amount of armored fighter vehicles there. Obviously, we've been a tank division. That is to be expected. Oops. Okay, so Vakian Mobile. I may as well have it assigned to another division there. I'll leave to so another command. We could have it assigned to this command here. Uh, which will make more sense, as they're going to be the ones mostly in the plains. This army is really going to be headed towards Kiev. More or less, anyway. Uh, we'll solve that one later, however. Okay. Good. Surrendered.
Okay, uh, so we will need pioneers as they are in a city. So can we assign any pioneers? Um, no. Any pioneers here? No, only labor. That's a shame. We'll have to wait then. There's really no sense in taking the city on, as we'll take, well, we'll take large losses. And I imagine they're going to be dug in. They're dug into a level. So we don't want to make it any harder on ourselves. Now you are also in a city, so we're going to have to do the same thing, see if we have any... Any... Huh, nothing to be assigned there. <clears throat> Uh, we do have howitzers, heavy howitzer. I'll give them another artillery battalion. Now oh, we do have pioneers in here. Okay, that may be enough. I doubt it, but maybe. As there's a tank mountain and rifle corps in here. Yeah. It's going to be a while before we can starve them out. Uh, but none of the matter, we are slowly but surely starving them out, and they will eventually give in. Uh, so it seems like we are fairly open over here, which is pretty damn good going. Right. So we'll use our forces to take these guys if we can. Good surrender. And surrender. Now I'd be mad to attack across the river. I'd have more if I go over here, man, so I will. Okay. Ah, you're fine here. Continue to move up. Uh, so we need to take control of this point and then we can approach Odessa from the south. Okay. cross over here actually so we'll do that ah good your core over here um are you cut off no you are not however I could do that okay so we'll do that then we'll move around you here then uh, move you up here. Move you here. There we go. This unit off here, which we will do. Um, hmm. What do we have here? Two air bases, that's good then. So I can move here. I should have really. Ah, bugger. I can probably, yeah, I can do it. That's fine then. Uh, so we're going to have this core dedicated to Odessa anyway. So 
Also, we'll have this force cut off. There we go. So the good news is we'll have these forces cut off as well, so that's motorized and tank uh, reduced to being pointless. Basically pillboxes. I wanted to force him away, but that's not going to be possible then. Good. There we go, that's what I want. So that's another division there. And then the armor. Hmm. Ah, uh, so Vinitsa, uh, Vinitsa seems to be held. Ah, yes it is. Okay, do reconnaissance again. Okay. We'll try to flank them. There we go. I mean, we're already deeper than we were over here. As frankly, we had a hell of a lot more to clear up there, at least to change over. So, we should be decent on supplies, or at least better. You'll be cut off, so that's a few extra units that we'll have cut off over here. Actually, quite a few there. So that's two divisions here, another division here, number two here, number one here, number one here. That's pretty decent then so far. Okay. Surrendered. Okay, let's go for a full attack. Um, let's assign. Right, so we have flame panzer on here. Well, flame panzer here. I'm gonna remove that. As frankly, I could do with that elsewhere. Okay, full attack. Come on. Lovely. Okay, we'll move uh, both divisions over here. 
Uh, what do we have here then? Cavalry. 10 here, 11 here. Uh, cavalry, rifle, and rifle. I'm going to just wipe this out now. That's rather annoying. Finally. Okay, so that's all dealt with. That means that we can move on now smoothly. Fantastic. That one. Okay. now cut off. So this core can finish that off in the following turn. And then with this other core we can just expand out here and make sure this holds. There we go. Ah. There we go. Move directly north. Well, directly um, east, I should say. So what the idea here is that we're going to use this army, we're going to use the 6th army as the hammer and, well, yes, as the actual hammer. And then we can use the panzer and the other army over here and the Romanians. So yes, we can use 17th armor, well, army as the uh, hammer itself. So we have the sickle, sorry, not the sickle. So we have the um, anvil and then we'll have the armor. hammer. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to basically force them like this and then come here try to get around them and just cut them off and just completely destroy this force around Kiev. Which will be lovely. There we go, disturbing all those airfields. So, uh, yeah, that's a lot of fuel there. Wow. I mean, the thing to mention here is that we are draining these airfields of fuel too.
there's a lot of armor here. vehicles. Superb. Okay. Form the Panzer Division. There we go. Now then, uh, don't have much room to maneuver with you. It seems that uh, Zaitemir, or Zitemir, is actually held, which I'm not entirely surprised about. Yeah, there we go. Too good to be true. Though we can just basically force our way across here quite easily, uh, which I think we'll do then. Uh, let's see. The thing is, the Soviets are in disarray, and it's mostly airfields here. I mean, take a look at all these airfields. These are headquarters, there's a few divisions in here, but mostly airfields. So I think we should take the time to just consolidate with the Panzer Division, uh, fly some fuel in there, have it distributed out, have them close to supply, and then uh, once the infantry pushes up from the south and yeah these guys will reach probably the river here and then possibly key up the turn after. We'll be ready to move with the Panzers and completely cut off this entire army here. In the north? Yep. Looking good. Moving quite nicely over here. Okay. Hmm. Then again. Looks like mostly... Actually, no, it's quite a number of units here that we could cut off. Namely, a armor division too. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Well, move you up. Right. We'll leave you there. Hmm. No, I think this is a good move. I think it's the safest move. So move through here. high level headquarters here. Push them back further. 